We lean thinkers love talking about time. Their cycle time, lead time, and everyone's favorite, tack time. Sure, it can get a little confusing, but by the end of this Gimba talk, you'll be perfectly in step with all three of them. Let's start with cycle time. Cycle time describes how long it takes to complete a specific task from start to finish. Now, this task may be to assemble a widget or answer a customer service phone call. Now, it should be noted that cycle time can be measured with a stopwatch. Next, let's discuss manufacturing lead time, which we actually prefer to call production lead time, or PLT for short. The production lead time represents the total time, value added and non-value added, it takes a product to make it through an entire value stream. This is often called the call to cash time since it helps us understand the time between taking the order and receiving payment for the delivered goods or services. Lastly, let's talk about tack time. The word tact is German and literally means pace or rhythm. When we speak of tack time, we're attempting to understand the rate at which we need to produce a product or service in order to satisfy customer demand. To calculate tack time, think touchdown, or T over D, since we simply divide the net available time by the customer demand. So, if a customer service rep receives 240 calls per day, and they have 480 minutes of available time each day, their tack time is two minutes per call. Now, here's an important fact about tack time. Unlike cycle time, Tack time cannot be measured with a stopwatch. It can only be calculated with the formula we just covered. Now, if you'd like to learn more about these different types of time, be sure to check out Gemba Academy's Transforming Your Value Streams course over at GembaAcademy.com. Thanks for your attention, and we'll see you in the next Gemba talk.